All right, everybody, welcome to a Ret Paladin keybinding macro video, the full version. If you want to see just my pat empowered steals and skip to that specifically, I have another video just for that. If you're using that ability and you want to see a full affected empowered seals, I'm not really going to go over it. I'm going to go over it slightly in this video, but if you want to see the best way to use empowered seals, go over to that video. I will leave an annotation on the screen right here. <sighs> so let's get started. So key binding, you can see here, I have my F. I'm going to start from the top and go down. F1, F2. These are my buffs. I don't really use F1 and F2 anymore. So unless I'm obviously casting Blessing of Might or Blessing of Kings. And I always use Blessing of Might. It's just my ability. It's my buff that I recommend. I F3 is Redemption. I'm never really going to use that uh, unless I have to. And then Black War Tiger is my mount of choice lately. I just like it. I like the tigers, and it's cool looking. Uh, here I have, and the next I have my key binding. This is shift button. This is shift middle mouse button. So I just shift and then click my middle mouse button and it puts me on my mount because I use what, uh, I use, that's like what I don't, I don't use that for anything. So I figure use that for my self and just getting mounted up. Here we have alt wheel up, which is my seal of truth, which is also a judgment, which I'll show you in the macro shortly. Again, if you want to go see that video specifically, click the annotation on the screen I left earlier. Alt wheel down is going to be seal of righteousness again with judgment in the macro. Alt shift wheel up is going to be seal of justice, and shift wheel down is going to be seal of insight. And the reason I have it as my my wheel is because my scroll wheel is because I have judgment as my wheel down down here, and so that allows me to use my empowered seals. Which again, if you didn't see part one, go check it out. I have my talents there. I use empowered seals, and this helps me keep them within reach of casting. Which again, I go over my empowered seals video. So that's the easiest way to, that I think to use it. And then here, you'll see this is a weird looking key bind, but it says CN1. It's just, for me, it's control and click my first mouse button, which I'll show you on the screen right now. You can see my mouse. It's kind of like a Razor Nog. It's got 12 buttons on the side, so I just use the control button and the first button that I have to cast that. Every man for himself, which is my racial as a human. It's like the trinket that gets you out of a fear, stun, whatever the case may be. Uh, next we have flash to the light which is just that one on my mouse and that is just the easiest way for me to reach it next I have word of glory as two and again just easy for me to reach it and my third one I have as my macro for execution sentence to be cast upon myself even if I'm targeting another enemy again I'll show you that macro shortly so that's that it's one two and three I'm just gonna go down my mouse four is going to be my emancipate which it's kind of like a toned down hand of freedom. It uh, reduces one movement impairing effect, which if you only have one on you, it's great. But if you have a couple of hand of freedom, it is the ability you're going to want to use. So that's four on my mouse, again. Five is going to be hand of sacrifice, which these are only macroed to my arena party members, one and two. And that is what I use because the mouse, again, easy for me to reach. And if I want to help a teammate out, it's just a click away on my, my thumb. Next we have my bop, which is going to be the seven on my mouse. And then... This here is 8, uh, it's going to be to my party 1, and 9 is going to be to party 2. Same thing down here, myself, hand of freedom right here, hand of freedom to my party member 1, and hand of freedom to my party number 2. And again, I'll show you those macros shortly. Here we have my divine shield, which is alt, uh, my first number 1 button, which I can't cast right now because I have four bands for another 6 seconds, but you guys get the idea for that. I don't have Righteous Fury and Turn Evil Macroed, I just have them down there in case the situation all of a sudden calls for it. I don't really want to press those buttons a lot, Righteous Fury especially, unless I want to be taking damage away from my healer uh, as far as pets go uh, for hunters. Alt 1 down here for me is a healing flash of light on my party member number 1. Alt 2 is Word of Glory on my party number number 1. Alt 3 is a healing for my party number number 2, Flash of Light. And Alt 4 is healing for party number number 2 for Word of Glory. So that's what I use again within reach, easy for me to do, and it quite simply makes it so I can cast those abilities easily, just click away, and I normally wait till I have Insta Flash of Light to heal them if they need it. Uh, Z here is a repentance, which I don't have the talented to me right now, but if I wanted to, it would simply just cast on my focus, which I'm going to make this my focus. I'll do my X, which is Hammer of Justice. So I'm going to target, I'm targeting this guy. This is my focus over here. I just press X, and it stuns that guy. So that way I don't have to leave my target. And that is, again, a macro I'll show you shortly. Here we have Shift 1, which is ultimately my burst macro, which I will show you shortly. Shift 2 is my my defensive macro, which is just Divine Protection and 
I forgot my probably my trinket. And then shift three is a cancel macro, which I'm going to show you that actually as we go because this one's important. Shift three cancels my divine shield, hand of protection, or hand of freedom because those limit you sometimes, and hand of freedom can be taken by a mage or a, you know dispel or whatever it may be purge. So hand of freedom is, canceling it sometimes is it calls for it. So that's why I have that as my cancel macro, and that is shift three. Shift four is just my hammer of righteous. I don't really use this. It's a AOE ability that just deals out a small amount of damage to targets within uh, eight yards, kind of like Divine Storm here, which is macro to R for me. I have cleanse as F, and that everyone knows what cleanse does. Uh, it just removes all poison and disease effects. T, I have Lay on Hands, which I don't really use in arenas, but again, it can help you if you need it. Here is my Garrison ability, which just has my boys come and attack this dummy, so that's cool. <laughs> and then, I again, I went over all my mouse stuff. So wheel up is Crusader Strike, wheel down is Judgment, I have my Dash as my Stun, one is my Exorcism, two is my Templar's Verdict, three is my Execution Sentence, and four is my Hammer of Wrath. So it's kind of, and five again is my kick, rebuke, and that's if I want to dispel some, I'm not, no, sorry, not dispel, but stop um, a spell from being cast. So that's it, guys. Pretty simple key binding. Uh, if you're interested in trying that out, go ahead and give it a go. Now let's head over to my macros. General macros. Let's see, yeah, this is my Bob macro for my target party number one, and you can see the way it's written out. I can write this in the description below for you guys if you'd like. Leave comments if you're watching this early. I will leave them in the description below. If they are in the description below by the time you're hearing me say this, that means that people wanted it and you got it. So if you can't, just read it from the screen and then remember it. This is it, and just let me know, and I'll write it down in the description below. But essentially, you want to always put show tooltip and hand of protection so that way it can show up on the side for you so you can see what the ability is exactly in case you just forgot. And then here I have at party two, which normally is my arena member, arena party number two. And I only have one and two because threes is as far as I'm going to go as far as key bindings go for casting abilities on my teammates. Here I have my execution sentence heal, which is just targeting myself. Target equals boss pal, which is my character's name. And again, it just targets to myself in case I don't, if in case I want to heal myself quickly and not hit an enemy or like have to alt, alt shift click my my name to see, to see uh, to target myself. So it just helps me a little bit in regards to that. Here I have my Hand of Freedom, which is the same as the Bop, and my Hand of Freedom, which is the same as the Bop as well. So you kind of just want to always use these macros, especially if you want to help your teammates out and be a good Paladin. It just, trust me, it helps. You always want to be versatile, and you want to be more than just wings. Here, Hand of Sack and Hand of Sack, same thing. All of your hand abilities should be macroed to target your party members at some point, and also yourself, which is not, you don't necessarily need a macro for it, but it just helps. Here I have my stun. I have Hammer of Justice in here just in case I do have it as an ability and I use Repentance or uh, Blinding Light. So it just casts it on my target focus and that is just if I am not stunning the guy I'm dealing all the damage on and I want to CC uh, the healer or whatever the case may be. Ah, sorry. So here's my burst macro. I, I posted it in my Empowered Seals video so if you saw it there don't worry about it. I will leave this one in the description below along with at least one of each of these. So this one is Show Tooltip Avenging Wrath, because this is your main ability. It's the coolest looking one anyways. Uh, Holy Avenger. You cast Holy Avenger, you cast Avenging Wrath. You cast Seraph. I have cast Seraphim in there in case I have it uh, as my level 100 talent. And I have it in there because I want to burst with it. It makes everything even better. And then I have Cast Seal of Truth in case I'm out of the Seal of Truth, like say in Seal, seal of Righteousness or Seal of Justice. I want to be sure to uh, get right back into it before I burst because that's where all the damage dealing happens. Um, oops, typing. <laughs> and then I have Using My Combatant's Badge of Victory, which for me increases my versatility by 638 for 20 seconds. Um, again, I use the increase of versatility as my main stat. I will go over stats in this as well. I forgot to mention that. But again, versatility is what I use uh, as like my main stack as far and, and along with haste. And if you made it to this point of the video, sorry I didn't mention this earlier. Uh, I use haste and I use versatility when I can. This I got as I believe the only time I could get it. So multi strike was added, but I use versatility when I can because it increases your damage done and decreases your damage taken. So you got to use it. Um, those are the stats I use. So moving back. 
to the ability. Cast execution sentence is a great one, and I use that as uh, just kind of to finish off the burst as my one ability that helps me again deal damage in a burst and get, you know, helps me out. Here's my back to life when I just have used Hellstone and slash cast Flash of Light. That is just if I have Hellstones if I'm playing with a Warlock. I showed you the cancel aura macro. A cleanse macro I have cleanse and emancipate. Doesn't not really useful, especially considering emancipate is on a global cooldown along with cleanse. So I don't even need this macro, but I just do have it. Here is my defensive defensive macro. A cast seraphim again if I have it does give you bonus armor, it does give you versatility. Um, I have Divine Protection, of course. I have Emancipate in case somehow I can cast that. And then use Primal Combatant's Vagia Victory because it grants me versatility, which again decreases damage taken. So if I do want to use it in a defensive situation, I would use it with that. Here I have my Party Flash of Lights, which I'm going to put one of, one of these at least in the description below. I have my Repentance Macro, which again is Target Focus. Repentance, uh, same thing as the Bop Macro. I'm sorry. Fist of Justice macro, Hammer of Justice macro. Here's my own Hand of Freedom again. Don't really need that macro. I just have it in here for some odd reason. Uh, <laughs> here are my Empowered Seals macros, which I went over in another complete other video. So go check that video out. Again, it'll probably be on my channel or uh, an annotation earlier, or right now for this video. Um, seal of Insight, Cast Judgment, slash Seal of Justice, slash Cast Judgment, slash uh, Seal of Righteousness, slash Cast Judgment. And there's a reason I do that because if you cast the I go over this more in depth in my other video but it allows you to cast judgment instead of casting the seal again and I like that it's the best way to macro empowered seals again if you want to see that click the other video it goes way more in depth I have word of glory here macroed with hellstone in case I need it I have word of glory here macroed for party number one and party number two so that's pretty much the gist of it guys It's pretty simple uh, it's a lot easier than people think but there's a lot of reasons as to why people are scared to play Paladins. You have so much versatility, and if you don't know how to use it, or you don't know how to deal the damage, it's kind of tough. So, I do recommend you try out these keybinds, and I do recommend you try out these macros. Again, I will leave some in the description below. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, haste, versatility, all that jazz strength, of course. But, thank you for watching the video. Real chance to If you want to see part one going over talents and glyphs and all that uh, damage rotation, just go ahead and watch it. Click my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Real chance. Well, also known as Boss Pal Pal's Pan. Love you. Bye.